Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of Battle Brothers. So Battle Brothers is a turn-based RPG set in a low fantasy setting which puts you in charge of a mercenary company. And these soldiers aren't special, these soldiers aren't unique. I mean they are unique, but there's nothing special about any of them. Each one of them could be easily on the other side and you could be fighting them. And that's one of the beauties of this game is that it is essentially just living your life as a mercenary in what could be considered the Middle Ages. So, there is a little bit of fantasy involved. So as you can see down here, we do have all of the DLC enabled. So we have the Lindworm DLC, and that's kind of an example of, of where this takes place. So it's kind of like a monsters, I don't even know how to describe it. There are monsters here. There is no uh, magic that you can control, although there is some some interesting stuff that happens, especially with some of the certain uh, play styles, for example, the Davical Cultists and all that. Uh, but anyway, so we have the Lindworm DLC. We have the Beast and Exploration DLC, which includes new beasts. We have the Warriors of the North DLC, adding new human faction and uh, equipment, so on. Blazing Deserts, which has the Southern Desert region and also of flesh and faith, which is the two unique origins, one of which we're actually going to be starting today. So, I, I think I'll just, uh, many of you guys already know what Battle Brothers is. If you have, if you don't know, I will be going through kind of as we play and, and explaining as much as I can. This will be the first time that I've played Battle Brothers in a couple of years, so I will need to kind of get back into the swing of things, but I think it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, I do have a few mods installed. I'll be popping those up on the screen here momentarily, but uh, nothing significant. There are a, a few quality of life mods. One is uh, making things go faster. One is being able to see whether or not your, you know, your potential recruits are garbage or not. And it's not taking all of their stats. It's just some of the basics. Like what are their specialties? Do they have any uh, particular talents? Things that you can like legitimately see. Like for example, there's no reason that you shouldn't be able to see that a recruit is tiny if he's tiny, you know, and, and so on and so forth. But anyway, all right, I'm going to stop babbling and let's go ahead and start a brand new campaign. So we are going to be doing the Oath Takers campaign. So the Oath Takers are knightly warriors beholden not to liege lords, but to the ideals and teachings of their founder, young Anselm, also known as the Emperor of Mankind, if you can see where this is going. The order now finds itself in dire straits and they've turned to you to reverse their fortunes. Can you teach these zealots to become successful mercenaries? All right, and so the unique traits of this start are paladins. You start with two battle-hardened warriors and good equipment, and oath takers, sworn to young Anselm's teachings. You must take oaths that confer various advantages and disadvantages until fulfilled. So let's go ahead and move forward. We are going to name this company in honor of our recently completed campaign, The Grey Knights. And I think actually that's probably a, a good one, like the Raven. Uh, as far as the late game crisis, I want to do, is it the Holy War? No, uh, Nobles at War? Yeah, so I want the Nobles at War because that just seems somewhat fitting for, you know, a Warhammer fantasy thing, whatever. I don't know, I just thought it'd be really, really fun to kind of tie in the, uh, you know, the Battle Brothers campaign and the Warhammer uh, Demons, Demon Hunters campaign. So either way, Next up, we can take a look at our economic starting funds and combat difficulty. We're not going to be doing it on Iron Man mode. I've had a couple crashes before with any, with, well, some of the mods, any of the mods, actually. So I'm going to do my very, very best to play it as honor, you know, honorable Iron Man, whatever, as I can. But I'm not going to turn that on because I've lost saves that way and it just, it's not fun. So we're going to move to economic difficulty of veteran, combat difficulty of veteran, and medium starting funds. Map seed is randomized, and we are going to be uh, having an explored map, which is nice. So, alrighty, let's get going. All right, and welcome to the Oath Takers campaign. I'm going to go ahead and read this out loud. This is the first time I've played the Oath Takers start, so if you want to go ahead and skip, absolutely, please do. Um, we will be reading this out, and then we'll get right into the recruiting and questing on the very first portion of the, the campaign. You knew the game well, and like any good game, you got burned out on the rules and the rule setters. Oaths for this, oaths for that. All you knew is you never got to hold young Anselm's skull, 
and last you saw, some Oathbringer had stolen off with the lad's preeminent jaw. Leaving the Oath Takers was the best decision you ever made, if only to preserve what little sanity you had left. Unfortunately, the faithful have a strong nose for the apostate scent. When you opened the door this morning, it was like looking at two piles of shite some prankster kid had left you. Walter and Anselm, in the flesh. The former, an older man who simply never shook his beliefs, and the latter, a talented squire who reminds you of yourself. No doubt, the more mawkish talker was the younger lad who made his plea. The Oath Takers need a man familiar with the land to help them around, completing quests and oaths. You shut the door, only to find the older man's foot in it. He held up a pile of gold, and your nose must have wrinkled or wiggled because both men lit up. Now you're only going along because times are tough and because mercenary work, even under the guise of religious duty, can make some outstanding coin. And if someone is willing to bankroll you into such an opulent task, then so be it. There's only one condition. You will take the Oath of Captaincy, which means all the battling and rough-roading will be done by others. Without pause, the Oath Takers agree, and then they show you young Anselm's skull. You've lost touch with the organization, but seeing that lad's dumb dome still br brings a stir into your heart. Anselm nods. For gold, glory, and young Anselm. Let us scour these lands for the honorable and be diligent and may we ever make young Anselm whole again from the rat bastard oath bringers who broke him. Alrighty guys, we are starting in Cobb Manhaven. Uh, that is right. It appears in the close to the middle of the map, which uh, is a good spot, I think, to start. That'll give us a lot of quests that we can see around here. We'll go ahead and move into Cobb Manhaven right now and see what kind of A quests and B people that we can hire. So I automatically see a two-star quest, and I go, nope, that's not happening. But let's see here. All right. So we start off with 1,000 gold, or 1,000 crowns, 25 provisions, 10 tools and supplies, some other stuff, etc., etc. So we have a eunuch. Um, great. We have an apprentice. We have a cripple. Peddler, tailor apprentice and an adventurous noble well that's out of the realm of possibility but anyway let's go ahead and start out with see trout fee is 41 gold 40 gold i'm interested to see what the eunuch can come with so he has melee defense melee or range defense superstitious but high fatigue probably not interested thus far Alric, high range skill high fatigue and hit points it's paranoid which comes with range defense minus 30 initiative and an additional swift so plus 10 range defense that's actually a really good archer i think peddler so eh probably not apprentice probably not let's see what you come with wow three times melee skill disloyal gluttonous Ugh. hey well that's not ideal but i mean this guy's pretty darn good like, he might not be bad to have early on in the campaign, and then perhaps just replace him later. Okay. All right. Let's also see what Edmund has. Edmund is not particularly special. In fact, I'd, I'd make the argument that he's not really interesting at all. But still. And then you are a night owl. Well, realistically, I don't think we have can't really make too much fuss about things right now so let's go ahead and take a look at the marketplace we probably want to get at least a shield some basic equipment and a bow or something thrown perhaps for let's see who was who was our archer was it you yeah it was you our archer so 42 that's not bad actually that is not bad for range skill so let's go ahead and get him a bow and we don't need ammunition. We just need a quiver of arrows. That's what we need. And then we will get a padded surcoat and a Akaton cap, probably. As well as... Let's see, what? Can we just get you a dagger? I mean, that's probably all we want. All we can get right now, which is fine. Better safe than sorry. You know, better to keep you alive, at least. See, what is this? A linen tunic? You have an apron, so it's actually about the same. All right, sounds good, though. 
yeah, I think this will be this will be just fine. Let's go ahead and take a look at Walter here. Walter has skills in range defense, melee skill, and resolve. We do like that, of course, as he does have a standard here. Uh, we'll give him additional range defense, and that will be good for that level up. Taking a look at his perks, I think we're going to give him Colossus. Just give him that additional HP. And then, since he has the standard, we definitely want to give him Fortified Mind to give that Resolve increase. That Resolve increase will spread out to our other troops in range of the battle standard. And then we'll give him that. Let's see, maybe we give him some melee defense as well. Or... He should always be in the back line, actually. So let's just go that way again. And we'll go from there. Our other troop is Anselm. And Anselm comes with two melee skill. One melee defense and three initiative, although he has very, very little fatigue. So we will need to start looking at some of those skills given his uh, excessive weight, let's say. Let's take a look at the contracts. Um, I'm just going to skip some of these. So follow the tracks near Cobman Haven, return the crystal skull and get 240 crowns on completion. Carl the Burgermeister. Oh, this is another guy? Uh, delivery. Three crowns per head you arrive with up to 30 heads and another 200 when the job is done. Uh, we need to pay more for this. Nope. Okay. Refuse to pay any more. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Escort the caravan about a day to the southeast. Okay. Well. Okay. We'll, we'll talk about that in just a second. So this is one of the Oath Taker's uh, unique characteristics, which is you need to take oaths throughout the campaign. So each one of these... Uh, Oath of Wrath, Oath of Humility, and Oath of Sacrifice is going to give you a boon and a burden. So the boon, men have 15% chance to hit, renown increasing, and you get more renown per slaying. Let's see, and I don't know how long these take. Otherwise, uh, let's see, Oath of Humility, 10% more experience, minus 25% crowns. And... Oath of Sacrifice. None of your men take any crowns as wages, but your men do not heal injuries. Ooh. That's kind of sketchy. I feel like we probably are going to go with the Oath of Wrath. Minus five melee defense, but increased 15% chance to hit. That seems quite nice. Now... Excuse me. Why are you... Uh, why are you rolling right now? To Wissendorf. Okay, that's what I needed to see. Okay, Wissendorf is down here. Kind of sketched out by that, but we don't have enough troops to really make a con like contest any of those track missions early on, I don't think. And again, I haven't played this in a couple years, so I'm just going on a little bit of uh, background knowledge and a little bit of, of what I remember. So let's go ahead and accept this contract with the caravan. Worst case scenario, we have to just leave them to their, their days, but oh well. Either way, it will help us get a little bit further on the map here. Brigands, there, okay, good. And I'm fairly certain also that they take care of your food while you're in this caravan. So, let's see. Can't make out who is attacking you in time. You have to defend yourself. So let's see who is attacking us. I also want to let the caravan hands do their thing. Ah, okay, that's not pleasant. Uh, Nomad Cutthroat. Non-empty quiver of arrows equipped? I thought... What? You... Oh. I'm a dum-dum. Ha! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I'm already laughing at myself. Oh, man. Okay. Alright, so I only see five guys, which is good. Let's go ahead and let these guys push. Ow. That was not very nice. Oh, pocket sand! Not the pocket sand. All right, uh, let's see. So, 6% chance to hit. Excellent. What a guy. What a guy. 30% chance to hit. Failed. That's fine. Unsurprised at all. Perfect. You can knock back, too. What did we do to you? Cut arm sinew. Okay, so you're going to be not too terribly useful to your team right now. Excellent. Can you attack someone else other than my nice recruit? Goodness. Uh, 
8% chance to hit. 5. 17% chance. Well. I mean, we might as well do something, right? Okay. Killed you. Excellent. This guy's running away. Interesting. Come on, caravan hands. Help us out. 14% chance to hit. 5%. 5%. 5. If we do 27. Still missing everything, but that's okay. So you're getting up there on fatigue, which I don't like. But these guys are also dying pretty quick, which is nice. Okay, let's see. Can we get 7% chance? 6%? Yeah, whatever. Nice. Anselm's doing great. Okay, come on, guys. What are you doing? What in the world is he doing? He's just kind of running around. Off with his head! Alright, excellent. Might hit the buddy. Might not. You never know. Alright. Alright. Excellent. Is that last one, I'm assuming, running away? Uh, it's over. Nope, that's all. Alright, Reinhardt, I am sorry. You died, but you were disloyal anyway, and I don't particularly care. You did receive a lot of damage, so I'll take it. And let's look at the loot here. Ah, oh, we got shields. We got a spear. Nomad hat. Some ammunition. Excellent. And some gold, too. Absolutely. Love that. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what we got here. So we can put you or give you that. Maximum fatigue minus two. We'll give you a dagger as a backup. Quite nice. Let's move you guys around. I don't know. Maybe maybe we should keep you as a melee guy right now until. Yeah, maybe maybe we just do that. We'll give you a, a spear and a shield right now because we can't necessarily afford to have. An archer with such crappy range skill. <laughs> All right, more peasants. Come on. Stay alive. Stay alive. Ten days for the Oath of Wrath. 215 crowns, and Wiesendorf is now well supplied. Crowns well deserved. Excellent. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Iron men. We have a farmhand and a day tailor to look at. So you come with a weapon. Maybe we'll just buy you. Don't really have the money to try you out. And you are the worst thing I've ever seen. Okay, that's fine. So you are greedy. Double grip. Uh, and yeah, I mean, you're basically just useless. <laughs> okay. Well. Oh, well. Made mistakes. Let's see, wooden flail. 30% chance to ignore armor. 50% effective against armor and a 10% chance to hit the head. This is highly effective against armor. So maybe we just do that and then how are we looking on tools? We don't have a lot of tools. Can we... I don't recall... I don't recall how to split. Perhaps we don't. Either way. We're, we're doing just fine on food. Contract. Let's see. Cargo that needs delivered needs to be taken to Felsheim, Felsheim, where a man by the name of Janel the Treasure is waiting for it. 370 crowns. Day to the north by road. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Alright. Let's go ahead and head over to Felsheim. And we, uh, one of the mods that we do have is the faster mod, which is quite nice. Hopefully we get, uh, a little bit about, a little bit more, at least. Alright, low on tools and supplies. Unsurprising, but sometimes these, these early missions where you get just a nice little, you know, exploration mission is great. 
Okay, people are disappearing. Mangled, mutilated. Oh, that's great. Uh, 350 pound gold crowns. Hunt down what terrorizes Felshine. I think we can actually do that by leveraging some of the people that have been floating around here, because there's quite a lot of people on the road, it looks like. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's sort our items here. We do need some equipment, tools and supplies, but I'm more concerned about... Let's see, do we have any good armor? Not really. I mean, we're actually not, not in a terrible spot right now, anyway. Perhaps we just get you a, a straw hat. And... You know, Pitchfork's probably not bad. Range of two tiles, 30 to 50 damage. Uh, it would be nice to have someone in the back line, maybe, with the Pitchfork. Let's see, so you guys are Butchers. And Geralt, the Caravan Hand. Oh, it certainly would be nice to get a good hair in hand. Ooh. Yes, indeed. Please, sir. May I have another? All right. So you have a headscarf. Let's get you that. And then I'm thinking maybe we put you up here. Give you that. And then maybe we do... We may not have enough, actually, for the... Pitchfork. Ah, we do. We do, we do. So let's give you the pitchfork. And... I don't know, a dagger and a shield on the back end? Actually, no. No, 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 no. Silly, silly. Let's give him the shield. And we'll go from there. Alright, hunt down what terrorizes. A peasant comes up to you with clothes in shredded rags around him with modesty. He's got his hands covering his groin. All right. I know Felslime has hired some men to take care of these beasts, and you certainly look the part of a higher hand. Please, sir, protect us from the evils. We move on. All right, let's see. Oh, dire wolves. Uh huh. All right, they're hunting us. Maybe we can help get help from someone. I'm really hoping. I don't think we can handle dire wolves right now, to be honest with you. Come on, guys. Okay, nope. Nope, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight. Alright, so. Perfect. Ow. Oh, man. And he's dead already. Okay, that's fine. We knew this day would come. Just didn't expect it to be so soon. Perfect. You survived. Come on. Perfect. Excellent. And then you are already at capacity here. Alright, now what did you do? Pierce leg muscle. Excellent. And... I'm gonna do shield wall. Perfect. Keep killing him! Oh, this guy should totally be dead. Run them down! Okay. Give me their scalps! Nice! Nice! And Gerald survived! <laughs> Pierced arm muscle. Heal in three to four days and partially collapsed lung. Permanent minus 40% fatigue. <laughs> That's not good. Um, maybe we could use him as, uh, as our pitchforker. Alright, and Ulrich and Anselm get a level up here. Uh, Ulrich took a bit of damage here. 102, in fact. And Anselm only took armor damage, which is great. Strange meat. 25 will spoil in four days and an unusually large wolf pelt, which we might be able to sell. How's that? Let us be done. We have crowns to collect. All right, well, we're just going to move quick. Perfect. Ambushed trade routes. That is the other thing they have. 
Kill the vagrants. 60 crowns in advance. Drive off the brigands at Outlaw's Hideaway in Felsheim. I think we're just going to leave that as is. I, I don't have the... Uh, I, I don't have the ability to actually do that. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so instead, you're relatively small. Hunter's Cabin, Lumber Cabin, Herbalist Grove. Yeah, we can probably go there. We... We need tools, is what we need, actually. All right, so we need tools. There's got to be a way. Okay. Ammunition. There's a way. There's a way. Okay, goodness gracious. We're just, we're just blanking here. So controls. Alrighty, it appears that I am insane, and no, in fact, we cannot do that. So, we are going to instead sell our unusually large wolf pelt. We're going to buy the tools, and we're going to go from there. So, poor Geralt. He's he's had a bad day. Uh, Ulrich, on the uh, flip side, has had a good day. He's doing very, very well. So, we're going to go ahead and give him some improved uh, abilities here. Let's see. We want to give him... Probably some resolve, actually. I think that that's probably good. He is the one that is... Is he paranoid? Or not paranoid. He's not the one that gets random checks. I forget which one that is. But either way, a fast adaptation, probably not a bad idea with the ranged. Although bags and belts, I wouldn't mind giving him uh, maybe some thrown weapons. Hmm... Interesting, interesting. Yep, let's go ahead and give him fast adaptation. And as far as Anselm is concerned, let's go ahead and give him... Let's see. Give him health. Probably... Give melee defense. I mean, I kind of like that. But alternatively, I want him to have good fatigue. So let's go with that. And then recover. I think recover will be good for you since you have some of that heavy duty armor. Alrighty. Now we are obviously quite limited right now in terms of what we have available to us. Uh, the other option, so you're pretty crap, but that's minus 25% uh, skills. So, let's see, maybe we, maybe we put you so this is going to be a little bit of a of a weird thing here. So we'll give you the bow back. We will take your stuff away. Give that to you. You get the nice equipment. Uh, perhaps actually the spear. And then what is this? 35 versus 25. So you're going to get the bigger equipment. And then we'll give you the crappy equipment. There. It's perfect. It's perfect. Let's see what they got. Got a shipment. They need an escort. 750 crowns. We need to get paid more. 810 it is. Two days to the north, and I'm just going to run away if I have to. I'm sorry. Like, I don't, I don't have the ability to fight them. No, run. <laughs> a brigand raider, many brigand thugs. Okay. All right. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's see, so if we hit, you have a 45% chance to hit, but if you miss, you're going to hit someone else. Oh, nice. I am impressed. I am thoroughly impressed. Uh, now, these guys already went, so let's just, let's just leave as is. Oh, hey, the, the caravan hands are making their moves. We like that. Like seeing that. Okay. We'll try and keep up with the caravan hands. We want them to take as much damage as possible. And I think you are going to be important here. Let's see, do we want to probably just attack you? Pierced hand. Excellent. That's good damage. Locked shot. Okay. 
42% chance to hit. Nice. Alrighty. Let's do that, and then we will pop a shield wall. Very unlikely to succeed here, but such is the way with this campaign. Chop his head off. Excellent. And let's see, you have a dagger, so let's switch to the dagger, and then... See who else do we want to hit? 95% chance to hit. Blocked by the shield. Right, I'll take it. This guy's not having a good day. Uh, we're not having a good day either. But you I, I forget, you have the uh you have the pierced arm muscles, so that makes sense. Let's see. Can you kill him? Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect. 95% chance to hit. Excellent. Pierced lung. And, I mean, we just got to keep attacking you. So you're running away. That's fine. Cut arm, though. Repel. Or a 42% chance to hit standard. Yeah. Is what it is. Okay, the caravan hands are actually doing a lot of work here. I really like that. Uh, we can probably switch to our bow here. And at this point, we want to take a look at what we have access to. 8% chance, 38% chance, and a 42% chance. You are injured, and you're fleeing, so let's just do some damage to a guy that is still alive here. Instant kill. Nice, and you're... Okay, shoot, we should have recovered there. Can you get there? Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to fight them. Let's see, how much does this cost? Enough. Ow. Sorry, guy. Let's see, and you're just going to try and run away. We do want to get as much loot as we can. Ah, oh, darn it. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's, uh, that's actually all. So we didn't even lose anyone. Alright, it's over. I'll take it. Everyone survived. Uh, a little bit of cut arm. Two to four days injury on Everhold. And Solm. Alright, good. And let's take a look at the loot. Ooh, a nasal helm. And a hatchet. Oh, that's amazing. We got good ammunition. Crowns. Oh, that was phenomenal. I love that. All right, let's go ahead and kit up here. So you, Eberhold, great job, my friend. So I, oh, your aim, your aim. Oh, didn't get paid. Okay, well, that's that's my bad. Totally my bad. I accept. Let's see. What else do we want? To, we'll give you resolve, and we'll give you hit points, perks. See, what I don't even know what you're probably just going to be a student, honestly. So let's just get you, yeah, 20% experience, and then we'll give you gifted by this next turn. I've, I've read some stuff that gifted may not be uh, particularly nice, and I don't know if that's true or not. It just is what it is. I'm sorry, but let's go ahead and equip you that. And then as far as that is concerned, a hatchet. 110% effective against armor. Maybe we're going to give that... You have you don't have any specialization. No, so... 40 to 45 damage. 25 to 40 damage. But... This also has good damage against our, uh, shields. Hmm. For right now, I think we'll stick with the arming sword. Just because... I like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I got for you. Ulric is in good spirits. Excellent. Provisions are provided for the men, which is great. We could have definitely fought those four brigands. Ooh, silver claw. And we are... Grunenbach? Okay, so we're just about there, actually. We're doing a great job. 
And of course, I do need to remember that we are getting a minus, uh, minus melee and minus range defense here. So, all right, read recently raided. That's fine. A day tail, a day teller, day tailor. Yeah, you just do work throughout the day. Team player, fat. Not interested. I I apologize, but but not interested. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. We do need some tools. Tools and supplies. 341. That's expensive. A speedum. 55 to 75% damage. Could get another pitchfork. Let's go ahead and sort of stuff here. Uh, grain is going to be spoiling soon. As will the strange meat. We might as well sell it. Honestly. I don't know. It's, it's expensive. Mm. I feel like I'm probably being a little too safe here. And maybe on top of that, maybe, maybe we just buy you. Or twin, I mean, you're, 30, you're 90 gold. So let's see what you got. 52 melee skill. Minus five melee defense, which is fine because that's uh, part of the oath. Fat, as we saw, and 50% chance to not inflict team damage. Really low resolve. Not bad hit points. Okay, yeah. You know what? We can make this work. We can make this work for sure. Okay, and then we will give you uh, a spear. And the reason I like spears is a 20% chance to hit extra. Uh, with the thrust, which is super nice, whereas uh, this is just standard. So, I mean, these guys are pretty crappy right now. So to have that additional, uh, that additional chance to hit is just really, really nice. Now, the only other thing I'm questioning is, so this has 15 melee defense and 15 range defense. This has 15 and 20 range defense. Okay, so that is objectively better, uh, but it does have uh, lower, lower health. That's fine. Let's see here. Let's see. Hunt down what terrorizes Grunenbach. 80 crowns in advance. 310 crowns on completion. Let's go ahead and take it. And we will try to find either the trading caravan or something. Ooh, okay. First Grunenbach company. Ah, dire wolves. Come here. Okay, we can definitely, definitely make use of that. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, oh, that's not good. They're right there. Okay, let's go ahead and shield wall and... Oh, these guys are no joke. These are footmen. Holy cow. I'll take it. I will certainly take these guys. Can we kill? Yes, we can. Let's get that trophy. Okay, that's a billman. Uh, I don't really want to expose you to too much danger right now. Good. Good. I mean, this is basic. At this point, this is essentially free money. If we only run the risk of hitting that guy. Yep, that's fine. Oh, and you did a rotate. Ah, okay. We gotta, we gotta kill him. Nice. Run them down. Nice. Excellent job, gentlemen. No damage taken on anyone. Not to mention, Ulrich, great job. Get some good kills there. Got an unusually large wolf pelt. We'll take that. That's free gold. What a, what a nice little, little, uh, little quest there. A thousand gold. We now have enough money to actually buy some generic stuff. All right. A little bit cheaper on the tools here. 
And then let's also take a look at what is this selling for? 70 right now. So not too terribly much. I think we're okay. Let's see a Fletcher. Do you have anything I'd like? Maybe a hunting bow. I mean, that's really nice, but also... I don't know. I don't know if I can make use of that. Either way, I think uh, we're going to head down to Finsterberg. I would like to see what they have. And then I think we're... I'll have to check, but I think we're getting a little bit... Uh, contracts lock. Oh, Noble House. Okay, that's fine. I think we're getting a little bit uh, long in the tooth here as far as the episode is concerned. So we'll probably go and find one more quest, and then we'll call it here. So I think maybe going back to Felsheim, or Felsheim, would be good. Yeah, let's go back to Felsheim. Oh, direwolves. Don't really want to fight those guys right now. See if they have any quests available. Drive off the outlaws. Drive off brigands at the outlaws hideaway south of Felsheim. All right. I think we will accept this. Now let's see, we do have a couple guys we could make use of. Farmhand. Let's see. So good fatigue, good range defense, good hit points, but irrational. Great melee skill, great fatigue, good morale, brave. But minus 15% experience gain. I can I can handle that one. I think I can handle you. You're gonna be good. Or at least good for me. Uh, let's give you a hand axe. Standard shield. Give you this. And a nice little hat here. Do need to keep in mind, of course, that we are running a little bit low on food and tools. Rich veins. Inflation of prices. Ooh, maybe we could, uh, yeah, we could sell that wolf pelt for a fair bit. And then, yeah, we can probably, we can probably be as we are right now. Unknown garrison. This location has fortifications. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we got here on this one. Some brigand thugs. I think we can handle that. It was a relatively small, uh, small amount of money, so I think we're we're in a good spot. Here we are just going to wait. With you. I don't know why I did that. Should have probably attacked. 55% chance to hit 60%. Yeah, let's go here. Perfect. And a pierced cheek. Off with his head! Another one dead. Okay, not enough. It's fine. Let's get you up here. And a miss. I'll take the miss. It's okay. We do love that extra 20% hit chance. 58% chance to hit. And 14, but you can also hit the enemy. So I'm good with that. We'll leave you as is. I think you're going to be in a good spot. Good try. Wait, what? Oh, that was you. That was not very nice of you. 63% chance. Okay, we're doing okay. Now, at this point, I'm... Ow. I'm a little bit more loath to hit our guy there. Nice. Perfect. Well done, troops. Now, you took a pierced cheek, minus 3%, or minus 3 recovery per turn. Uh, we'll heal in 1 to 2 days. And Geralt got, or Geralt, Geralt, whatever it is, uh, got a level up, as well as Anselm, Ulrich, and Walter. We also took a look. Uh, let's get a loot here. So we got a full leather cap and a blotched gambus in absolutely pristine condition. Pitchfork, pickaxe, hatchet, some ammunition, tools, and supplies. Cured venison. Ooh, I like that. Pure venison is uh, long term. So that's excellent. We're in a good spot there. Let's get back to Felsheim. 
Okay. After the battle, you find Bear Twin on his knees, his body swaying back and forth as he nurses a wound. You hear muffled cries in between all too loud moans. Approaching, you ask the man if he is alright. Explains this was his first taste of real vicious combat. It was not what he expected, and he's not sure if he can continue. Suck it up, or there's not a soul out there that isn't scared. I'll get better, I just I just need some time to do it, that's all. That's fair. I I accept that. That's that's a little bit rough, you know? Alright, so we gained 260 crowns. Felsheim is no longer uh, the victim of ambushed trade routes. And yeah, now we have 900 gold, as well as some tools and some ammunition. Alrighty guys, I think that's going to call it for our very first episode of Battle Brothers. Now, one thing I wanted to point out, and this is this is for you people who watch to the end here. Uh, if you want, let me know if you want to be named here. Because I, I wanted to just kind of spend this first episode getting back into everything. And afterwards, we are going to start naming all of our troops appropriately. So uh, everyone's going to be either a Brother Knight or, a, you know, maybe a Justicar or a purgator we're we're gonna go really i'm gonna have some fun with it so if you guys want to suggest a name or a class or anything that you would like to see uh, in this campaign please go ahead and leave a comment down below i would love to start integrating some fun stuff and and seeing you know i've seen some of you comment throughout uh, many many of the demon hunters videos and i'd love to give you guys a little bit of a shout out here um so anyway uh, we Took some losses here early on, but we're doing okay. I, again, I, I am pretty bad at this, so this is going to be interesting to see how the campaign progresses, but I'm really, really excited about it. Right now, I, I think we're in a good spot. We're making some money. We're building up our, our troops. We're doing some quests, and the levels are coming. So, anywho, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.